illness and hunger and pain were just everywhere. And our dream was to intervene in all of this, to provide medical care, but to see if we couldn't make some of the other kinds of changes, to see if we couldn't use community health centers as an instrument of social change. Seeing a doctor is not quite enough when there are deficits in nutrition, in housing, in the environment, perhaps in the economic situation within the family. Addressing those deficits was just a dream some 40 years ago, but it came true in North Carolina in 1970 with the creation of the state's first community health center. Located at Prospect Hill, this first center of Orange Chatham Comprehensive Health Services, or OCCHS, became in time Piedmont Health Services. Piedmont Health Services' three original sites were staffed by some 40 physicians, medical assistants, community workers, and family nurse practitioners. In the last 40 years, Piedmont Health Services has grown to six sites, offering medical services to 14 counties and employs over 250 people in many small communities. Prospect Hill, Carborough, Moncure, Drew, Scott, Siler City, each community health center had humble beginnings, but grew with community support. Each fills a niche where primary care services are scarce or far away. Each has under one roof a full team of medical professionals, physicians, physician's assistants, nurse practitioners, pharmacists, dentists, nutritionists, lab technicians, social workers, and many other clinical and support staff. And in Burlington, Piedmont Health Senior Care, created in 2008, is helping seniors stay in their homes. You have to really be passionate about making sure that people get great care and being around a group like that and how dedicated they are to getting the best for their patients and the best for our clients, that's the exciting part. They're caring, loving and caring. Uh, they greet you with a smile when you come in. They take you back and, and right away they make you feel at home. You ask me what would I do? <laughs> Did it, wouldn't you? Hey, it'd be scary, but think about it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I might not even be here to talk to you. The idea of the community health center that is, community-oriented primary health care, began in South Africa to address the needs of impoverished and sick populations under apartheid. In the United States, it evolved during the War on Poverty and civil rights activism of the 1960s. Piedmont Health Services' first site was Prospect Hill, a rural community that had not had a doctor since 1957. To fill this gap, the site became the first in the state to use nurses specially trained at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, called Family Nurse Practitioners. A health care innovation at the time, these mid-level providers now play a key role in delivering primary health care throughout the country. The services available at Prospect Hill were every outpatient service you can imagine. We had medicine, pediatrics, OBGYN, psychiatry. We had dental services. We had home health visits with community health workers. We had the whole entire panoply of care that can be provided in an outpatient arena available in Prospect Hill. Since that time, the UNC Healthcare System and Piedmont Health Services have complemented each other and often acted as partners. One of the things that we're doing today with Piedmont is to work together to strengthen Piedmont and its ability to do outreach in the community in order to enable people who would otherwise come to our emergency department to go to Piedmont and have their needs met there in a more accessible, customer-friendly fashion, but frankly in a more efficient fashion. Piedmont Health Services has always focused on community and patient need. Paul Austin, the first executive director of OCCHS, sought out the key partnerships and funding to meet those needs. I was one of the persons that was chosen at that particular time to go out in the community and survey and ask people what would they like to see. Their first question was they would like to see a health center nearby where they wouldn't have to go all the way to Memorial Hospital in the emergency room and sit there all day long to see a doctor. 
In answer to this request, a clinic was established in Moncure, in addition to those in Carbora and Prospect Hill, in 1972. I can remember my first patient. Uh, it was March the 6th, 1972. It was Mr. Charlie Olinga, and he lived about a mile and a half down the road, and he was so glad that we were there because he had been traveling to Sanford or to Raleigh, but we had services in the Moncure area, and he was just really delighted to have us there. These three centers survived, but the facilities were temporary solutions. They were trailers, modular units, rented space. If we wanted to be a world-class organization, we had to provide facilities that were world-class that uh, made people who came to us for care feel good when they walked inside. One of the first things that I did was to be begin to organize community support, federal, state support, and, and philanthropic support to improve our facilities because it affected the perception of the community and our patients. Money to buy land and build a more permanent Prospect Hill facility came from at least 10 different sources with significant support from the community itself. Then the Carborough and Moncure facilities were upgraded. We were also responding to my initial vision of serving more communities and more areas. So we uh, added a, a site in Burlington. After a while, we realized that the Moncure Center was getting so many patients from the Silas City area. They were overwhelming the Moncure Center. So we began to set about trying to develop a site at Silas City. During this growth spurt and over the last 40 years, a key goal was to ensure that Piedmont Health Services remained financially sustainable amidst funding changes. We went from 75 to 80% federal money to about 25% federal money. It was the right thing to do to make sure that the people who needed us in this community was going to be able to rely on us for the long haul. This commitment to sustainability dictated and sometimes meant that Piedmont Health Services could not grow as quickly as it would have liked. But Piedmont Health constantly sought to identify and then respond to the needs of the communities. Our dental program is a, a program that we're quite proud of. So we have uh, 12 dental chairs in our organization and uh, we serve uh, thousands of people every year. And we also serve the whole range of uh, the whole age range. So this is really from young kids to uh, seniors. And it's a full range of services, everything from the normal cleanings, uh, fillings, drillings, um, and root canals, uh, dentures, and the like. As the community has changed, Piedmont Health Services has adapted by adding translators and bilingual care providers to expand its care to a growing Hispanic population. Piedmont doesn't uh, deny care to anybody, and so we had to rapidly change our systems to accommodate these patients, and we had to get front desk people that spoke Spanish and providers that spoke Spanish and literature in Spanish. The last couple of years, there have been quite a few Burmese refugees that have come to this area. And again, we uh, came to the bat and provided the services that they needed. Because obesity and obesity-related diabetes are growing problems in the state, Piedmont has launched a community outreach patient education program to promote healthier behaviors. Piedmont Health Services is also responding to the needs of the aging population through its PACE program in Burlington. It takes a creative approach to patients' needs. And a lot of times it's not medical care, it's a ramp up to their house, or it's getting them a dog, or having them uh, move to a place where there's more uh, people to socialize with. Part of the reason we're doing that is to keep people who want to stay in your community who would qualify to be in a nursing home to be able to stay right where they are and we can bring services to them. Uh, we think that's going to be a big future for health care uh, in this area but certainly in the state. Uh, you look at a state that's going to know, now go from like one million seniors to two million seniors, are you going to build enough nursing homes to take care of that group or are you going to try to figure out how to keep them at home because that's what most people are going to want to have. Today, Piedmont Health Services is flexible, strong, and multifaceted. What's more, it is perhaps a model for the nation's health care as health care reform is implemented across the nation. 
Piedmont Health Services is improving medical quality and patient safety through the use of new technologies, such as electronic medical records, while remaining patient-centered, providing a medical home for individuals and communities alike. The model works in many different settings, whether it's in Cuba or in South Africa, Zimbabwe, around the world. And that is, you know, the comprehensive nature of the service. A rational healthcare system begins with primary care physicians, with internists and pediatricians and family practitioners and nurse practitioners and physician assistants. We have the means to create a national primary health care network through community health centers uh, that will be a primary care medical home uh, for a significant part of the population. We're already at 20 million people that Community Health Center serves. That number is going to grow to 40 and maybe 60 million people or more before we're done. So what I hope happens for Piedmont as for every other community health center over this next decade or two, that they become even better at attracting and keeping the people uh, who want to make the world a better place. You're like a big family here. Everybody cares about everybody and you, you get outside support. I mean, it's just, it's a good place to be. I love people and I've always wanted to help people. That was in my heart, to help somebody. And I always said, when I left at the end of every day, I felt in my heart that I had helped at least one person. And I just believe life is all about caring caring for people, and it's, I say from day to day, it's not about me, it's about we. What we can do for other people, and if you do it for other people, then it's going to come back to you. You know, you get excellent health care, and our people in the community has uh, benefited from that. And I'm proud. <laughs> This is an organization made up of difference makers. And our staff, that's who they are at their heart and soul. It is a joy, a real joy to see that every time I walk around the, our organization, to see how great a job we do for people, how wonderful it is to know that we can provide those services. And over the long run, the tens of thousands of people who Piedmont has made a difference in their lives.